Hi, my good friend. It's a long time. I'm here to present to you a new update about my research. Let's see. So for you who never see my digester, I'll show you how to X. This is the digester. Bruh. This is the digester. And this is the pipe we use for feeding the waste. So we put the toilet, cow down, any waste, any fermentable material. It doesn't matter what it is. From your kitchen waste, kitchen waste, and then uh, either you do some washing, the soap, water, and other things, or anything that can ferment. Either mango, wherever. But mango is not advisable because the seed is strong. So, papa and other soft items like banana that can, can be rotten. You can easily put it in there to have more gas. So now here we are. This is the cow down. As you can see. That's what I started with. I mix it together with water and I put it inside the digester. And when I pour it here inside the seed system, I will mix it with water. Now put inside the system. The way we designed it, we designed the system to be it digests anything you put in there, anything that can ferment. So if as you can see this green pipe here you can see is the pipe that drives the gas to the kitchen. Let me go closer for you to see it. This is, this is a pressure pipe, you know. It drives the gas all the way to the kitchen. And the box you can see over there. Is the generator I'm planning to spark with the gas. Now, if you look here, you see there's another chamber. It's also another digester. This is the home the domestic digester that we can build for a house. A house of about, uh, let's say, 14 or more, more rooms. So that uh, you can have more waste in there to have gas. With this gas, you can even, you can even share it to all the rooms if you feed in more waste so it's not only this one we also build the square types which is like six by four or any size you want it we can build for you to have more gas and it's much e effective because you don't need to call you don't need to call a waste management car to come and draw your toilet you know it's just that you'll be getting gas the only thing that will come out of it is just water liquid waste so that liquid waste we can either divert it to the gutter when it comes out it doesn't smell there's no smell inside we have a way of uh, we have a filtration chamber that we create for for the waste so it passes through the filtration chamber before it goes out and that water if you need it to use it for any other thing like watering your garden or putting it uh, I mean if you live in a place where there's no water you can re, re, redirect that water, refeed it back to your water closet. We have a way of treating it. You'll get it as a clean water. Now, let me send you to the kitchen for you to see how it works. Yeah, this is the pipe. I'll show you. It go all the way to the kitchen. Yeah, so this is the pipe. It comes from that direction to here and it enters the kitchen from this point all right okay so this pipe comes all the way from that place and we link it with this flexible gas and flexible pipe so we normally link it to this uh, stove to make our cooking let me on the fire for you to see I don't know, I'm not sure you can see the fire because the light, you can see it now. Uh, so this is the biogas fire, you can see it blue, normally that's how it is.
that the biogas fire. Now, I will draw the, the, this gas to the cylinder to see if you can press it inside, compress it in, into the, I mean, I will draw it with the machine and then see if we can compress it into a cylinder. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now we want to connect that pipe to the machine. Now, I want you to see the knob here is on, but you see there's no fire at the mouth. You see? Hold it. Let me try. I want you to see and witness what. Bring it here. Bring it here. When it is at this direction, it is off. Like this is off. Well, when it goes this way, it is on. You see, so let's try and see if there's fire, if there's gas inside. If there's gas immediately on the matches, the fire will come on. As you can see, there's no gas inside. So I'm not going to compress gas inside and see if you can have some fire. Okay, so now we want to pull the gas from the main digester into this uh, cylinder here before we compress it into the main one. So have a look. Okay, now we want to compress the gas into the cylinder by sparking the machine. If you can see here, the cylinder inside is uh, at zero point. So let's see if we can put some gas inside. Okay, now our cylinder is at four, almost 40 psi. Now let's try and see if the, the fire can come because the 40 psi is enough to give us some fire. Let's try and see. the valve and see how we can make some light out of it. There's fire inside. The gas is inside. You see, that's the gas. So meaning we're able to uh, compress the gas. Though with this small machine, you can't do it. This is not the real one. We are just using it for test. The real one is the one that can compress gas into the cylinder to the fullest capacity. So if you are interested, these are information here. As you can see, if you need us, you contact us on these lines. 
The numbers are 0243 850969 and 0264 850969. Okay.